Hello chemists and welcome to this week's Two Minute Tuesday. We're looking at how we can test for sulfate ions. This is a really common test and it often comes up in exam questions, especially when we're trying to identify different compounds. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing to the channel and joining us to help you get better at chemistry. So, to start with, we have sulfate ions present in a variety of different compounds. Everything from copper sulfate to sulfuric acid. And the sulfate ion is SO4 2 minus. To understand testing for sulfate ions, we first need to quickly look at the solubility of group 2 compounds. Group 2 metals can form many different compounds, but for our A level, we're particularly interested in the compounds formed to make hydroxides and the compounds formed to make sulfates. These different compounds have different trends in solubility. And it's these differences in solubility which give us the test for sulfate ions, with magnesium sulfate being soluble and barium sulfate being insoluble and forming a white solid. With this information, we can see how testing for sulfate ions works. Adding a few drops of barium chloride to a solution containing sulfate ions will form a white precipitate. This is an example of a displacement reaction and shows a positive test for sulfate ions in solution. That's it for this Two Minute Tuesday and a really important test to remember. Click up here for more Two Minute Tuesdays or click down here to see more information on Group 2 Metals.